Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Nina's Academy. So guys, in our previous video, we have seen the auto cycle that works on constant volume process and the diesel cycle that works on the constant pressure and constant volume. That is the heat will get added during the constant pressure process and heat gets rejected during the constant volume process. So guys, over here in this video, we are going to learn the another new thermodynamic cycle that is nothing but the combination of this auto cycle and diesel cycle. So we can also call that particular cycle as a dual cycle or else a semi diesel cycle. So guys, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. Myself Narendra, you are watching the playlist of thermodynamics. So guys, over here in this playlist, we'll be learning uh, different uh, laws, different derivations, different processes, cycles, and the working of different equipments over here in this playlist. So guys, please watch my video till the end, and guys, please do subscribe to my educational channel, Engineers Academy. Guys. So without wasting any time, let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the uh, dual cycle. So guys, this particular dual cycle is nothing but the combination of the auto cycle and the diesel cycle. Or we can also call it as uh, this is like a particular modification of the diesel cycle. So this is the reason in certain cases it is also called as a semi diesel cycle. So guys, what actually occurs over here in dual cycle? So guys, in case of diesel cycle, the heat gets added during the constant pressure and heat gets rejected during the constant volume. So guys, the heat addition part is modified over here in case of the dual cycle. The heat addition takes place in two different processes. So heat will added during the constant volume first and then again heat will added during the constant pressure process. So such as uh, in, a pre in our previous like in a auto cycle, the heat gets added during the constant volume and in diesel cycle, the heat gets added during the constant pressure. So guys, that's why it is called as this particular uh, dual cycle is a combination of this particular auto cycle and diesel cycle. So the heat addition part is modified over here. So guys, now let's check out what are the five processes over here in this case of dual cycle. So process 1 to 2 will be the same as that of the auto cycle and diesel cycle that will be the isentropic expansion, the constant entropy expansion process. No heat addition will take place during this particular process. The piston will move from top dead center to the bottom dead center like volume will increase. So process 1 to 2 will be the isentropy expansion. So V2 by V1 will be the expansion ratio over here in this particular, uh, in this particular process. So after the isentropy expansion, the constant volume heat rejection or else we can call it as the constant volume cooling will occur. So guys, the over here during this particular cooling stage, like we can call it as the exhaust stroke over here, like the heat will get rejected towards the atmosphere. So we can calculate the total heat gets rejected towards the atmosphere by using the same formula during this particular process 2 to 3. So that will be... Uh, the, uh, that will be the at the constant volume so that's why this is uh, the heat rejection will be is equals to the m mass of the air into engine cylinder into cv specific heat at constant volume into t2 minus t3 so guys this is the formula to calculate the total heat gets rejected towards the atmosphere so guys after the heat rejection again the compression will occur the type of the compression will be the isentropic compression constant entropy compression process so guys 3 to 4 will be the isentropic compression over here and uh, well uh, the piston moves from the bottom dead center towards the top dead center it compresses the air fuel uh, it compresses the air inside the engine cylinder and guys the work done by the piston on the gas so it increases the internal energy of the air which is present inside the engine cylinder so the volume will reduce and the pressure starts building up inside the engine cylinder so guys over here the ratio that is the v3 by v4 will be the compression ratio over here during this particular process 3 to 4 so no heat transfer will takes place during this particular process as we can call it as this particular process is the reversible adiabatic process that is process 3 to 4 will be the reversible adiabatic uh, uh, compression process so guys, so far we have seen the expansion, heat rejection and the compression. So guys, this all the processes are same and we have seen that uh, this all processes in auto and diesel cycle respectively. So guys, after the compression stage, the heat addition will take place over here, but it is at the constant volume. So process 4 to 5 will be the constant volume heat addition process. 
so guys during this particular process the piston will remain at the top dead center and then the fuel enters in into the engine cylinder and then again over here the ignition will occur so that heat addition will take place during the constant volume process so the ignition will take place over here at constant volume process and we can uh, we can calculate the total heat supplied during this particular process uh, 4 to 5 by using the same formula that is m cv uh, into t5 minus t4 so this will be the formula to calculate the total heat supplied during this particular process that is the 4 to 5 process the heat addition at constant volume so guys after the ignition the again the pressure inside the engine cylinder will starts building up okay after the ignition the pressure inside the engine cylinder will increase over here during this particular process 5 to 1 so guys the 5 to 1 we can call it as the constant pressure heat addition process heat constant pressure heat addition process over here so also we can calculate the total heat gets added during this particular constant pressure process by using the formula that is m into cp into t1 minus t5 so guys we can calculate the total heat supplied into the system uh, that will be the addition of this particular heat supply during the constant pressure and constant volume process so this will be the total formula will be the m into cv into t t5 minus t4 plus mcp into t1 minus t5 so, so this is the formula to calculate the total heat supplied into this particular system basically so guys now let's move towards the work done of the system so guys as we all know the work done will be the total heat supplied minus heat rejected so guys we can equate the formula for the heat supplied minus we have got the heat rejected that is the mcv into t uh, t2 minus t3 so guys this will be the total formula to calculate the total work done during this particular dual cycle so guys over here we have seen this work done now let's move towards the efficiency of this particular dual combustion cycle so well the efficiency is nothing but the ratio of the total work done to the heat supplied as we have got the formula for the work done and we have got this particular heat supplied during this particular constant volume and constant process so now we can equate the formulas that we have got for the work done. So we have got over here MCV into T5 minus T4 plus MCP into T1 minus T5 minus MCV into T2 minus T3 divided by MCV into T5 minus T4 plus MCP T1 minus T5. So that will be the heat supplied minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied. So heat supplied, heat supplied will get cancelled over here. We have got the formula 1 minus heat rejected divided by heat supplied so that will be the 1 minus mcv into t2 minus t3 divided by mcp into t1 minus t5 plus mcv into t5 minus t4 so we have got m over here that is the mass of the fuel which is common over here so m from m m will get cancelled from numerator and denominator and the net formula will be equals to this particular is equals to 1 minus cv by cp into t2 minus t3 divided by t1 minus t5 plus t5 minus t4 so as we all know this cp by cv is the gamma is the ratio so gamma is equals to cp by cv and cv by cp is 1 by gamma so that's why our formula becomes 1 minus 1 by gamma into t2 minus t3 divided by t1 minus t5 plus t5 minus plus t5 plus T4. So that is nothing but the total formula to calculate the efficiency. So guys, well, efficiency of this particular dual cycle is more than that of the diesel cycle, but less than that of the auto cycle for the same compression ratio. So guys, that was the, about the work done and the efficiency of this particular dual cycle. So now let's move towards the another parameter in this particular dual cycle that is nothing but the explosion ratio. So over here guys, during the particular process, 4 to 5, that is constant volume heating process. So in that particular process, the piston will remain at top dead center. The fuel will enter into the combustion chamber during this particular process. And then the pressure will increase during this particular process 4 to 5. So this particular pressure, so this particular explosion ratio is the ratio of this particular pressure after ignition to the before ignition so this will be the uh, ratio of the pressures of after ignition 
to the before ignition. So it will be equals to the ratio of P5 by P4 over here. So that is nothing but the explosion ratio over here. So guys over here in this particular video, we have seen the dual combustion cycle and the processes in this particular dual cycle. So guys, I hope you like my video and guys, if you're having any doubts, any queries, you can comment below and guys, please do subscribe to my educational channel, Engineers Academy guys. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video guys. Oh, 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 oh,